Hello everyone, I have a prophetic word and the Holy Spirit said to name this prophetic word, my sheep hear my voice. My judgments are increasing in the world. Repent. Many of you lack understanding of the times we're living in. Even though you come to me and ask for understanding of things to come, you err concerning the scriptures. Separate yourselves from the things of this world. My sheep hear my voice. Separate yourselves from the unrighteous of this world. The love of many has become cold. Understanding knowledge of evil instead of knowledge of good. Abominations have become common habits in the earth. Selfishness and money are becoming man's God. Nothing can help man control their actions against one another. I am coming soon. My word says repent while there's still time. Heaven is waiting on those who prepare for my coming. I am in preparation concerning my bride and um, the scriptures that were given to go with this were um, John the 10th chapter the 27th verse and that says my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and then um, you have Matthew, the 24th chapter and the 12th verse. And that says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And then Matthew, the 22nd chapter, and the 29th verse says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. And then we have Matthew, the 16th chapter, and the third verse, and it says, and in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? And then we have Second Corinthians, the sixth chapter, and the fourteenth verse, and it says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness. And that's all the scriptures that he gave me for this prophetic word. Um, and the, all those scriptures pretty much are, they're, out throughout this prophetic um, word so um, basically I think this this word is it's very um, simplified he really made it simple in here so you just kind of know exactly it is what it is um, you can read it and basically he's telling his children um, that are on the body to come up from amongst the world, the children of the world, and be separate um, from them. And he's saying that his judgments are increasing in the world, which they are. And he's asking, you know, his children to repent. If you're lukewarm, if you're out there doing things you don't have any business, repent. Um, stop it, put it away, come to him, get it right, repent. And repentance means stop doing the sin 
you confess it, you acknowledge to go before him and acknowledge the sin, and then you stop doing it, you don't go back to it. So that's true repentance, and when you repent, true repentance, you get forgiveness for that sin. Um, and he's saying many of you lack understanding of the times we're living in. Um, and that is so true. We are in the last days. And a lot of times when you go to tell people that um, you have a lot of heckling, a lot of mocking and scoffing, they don't want to accept the fact that we're in the last days because they've heard that for so long that when you say it, they it's like, it's like that scripture in the Bible that says that, um, and I think this is in Corinthians, I think, where it states that in the last days, the mockers and scoffers will say, where is the coming of God, you know, and I'm paraphrasing, where is the, the promise of his coming, you know, oh, since all things continue as they were, um, I guess he's fallen asleep, and basically, that's kind of what's going on. They've heard it so long till now that it's actually up on them. They don't believe it now. And um, they think that they're going to continue to keep reading the Bible, continue to keep um, those that go to church. They'll think that they can continue to keep going to church, reading the Bible. Oh, it's not going to, you know, our generation, that's for another generation. It's not going to be fulfilled in this generation. That's not for our generation. It's ridiculous. Um, I guess they think the Bible will never be fulfilled. Well, guess what? It's going to be fulfilled in this generation. It's time for it to be fulfilled. It's going to be fulfilled in our generation. The end is here. Now that it's finally here, it's like the days of Noah. Um, the Bible says in the last days it was going to be as the days of Noah. They don't believe. They didn't believe till the rain started coming. And so basically it's the same thing here. They don't believe it until, I guess, the judgments really increase and get very, very um, dramatic. And then they'll believe. So... We're living in that time, the time of the scoffers and the mockers. Um, and then in speaking of the love of many has become cold. Um, that's true. Just like scripture says in the last days, the love of many shall wax cold. And that is true. I have really seen and experienced that a lot lately um, from individuals. Um, that that has definitely been manifested. Um in the earth and we all know the abominations is out of hand in the earth so you know and the people are becoming extremely selfish and they are definitely worshiping money money is the new god it's, it's they're plaguing um it's like they're plaguing the citizens with so many ads so many commercials and ads everywhere trying to make money. It's all about the dollar. They're worshiping the dollar. And they're making the people miserable because they're obsessed with money. It's ridiculous um, how bad people are becoming obsessed with money. But anyways, um, I encourage you, you know, those that are um, yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, I encourage you to get your act together, um, the lukewarm, repent, um, stop playing the sinners, come, repent, um, read Acts 238, get, get yourself together, um, before it's too late, um, before the judgments start falling. Because um, he's already started his judgments, like he said, they are in the earth. Things are already happening, but they're they're going to increase and it's going to get worse. And those of you 
that are his sheep that are out there playing in the midst of the world. He, he says, come out from among them and be ye separate. In the scriptures, you need to come out from among them and be ye separate. And um, we can't mingle with the children of the world. You know, they're wolves, we're sheep. We need to be amongst our own kind in the fold. So um, that's all I have um, for this message. And um, God bless everyone and thank you for watching. Bye.